Hey, this is Randy from Funeral Funds of America. Today, we are going to talk about how much $15,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds would be for a 60-year-old male. Now, one thing I want to let you know right off the bat, you can go just about any page on our website. We've got these quarters. You can select any coverage amount you want, any state you're in. We're licensed in all 50 states. Um, you can get actual numbers there. We'll show you the quarters here in just a sec. Also, in, in the comment section of this video, we've got a special YouTube quarter, and it's going to be funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube, and you can access that for special discounts as well. And then also in the comment section of this video, we're going to have videos on $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, and $25,000 worth of insurance. Now, the first thing we want to tell you and talk about is, is $15,000 appropriate for your needs for a 60-year-old male? Well, in most cases, it should be okay. Now, if you're going to get cremated, $15,000 is more than enough. The average cremation in the United States costs between one to $2,000. That's if you're coming home in a cardboard box or an urn. If you're having a celebration of life or memorial service, it's probably going to be $35 to $4,500. $15,000 is enough. In fact, you are, you're probably overinsured. And sometimes people just want to leave money to their family. We recommend you be cautious about that. Uh, most people getting this insurance are on a fixed or limited income. To us, it doesn't make sense to overinsure. You know, if you had somewhere between, you know, um, 5000 to 7000 maybe even up to 10000 that might be a little bit more appropriate. Keep in mind, if uh, your budget's a little tight, you can start with a smaller amount, say 5000 And if you want to add more coverage later, we can help you do that. Now, $15,000 for a burial, is that enough? Well, yeah, that's enough. Uh, it depends what part of the country you live in. And, you know, the average cost of a burial in the United States right now is probably roughly around $10,000. Now, it's not going to be anything fancy. I can guarantee you that. But by the same token, if you walk into a funeral home with a $10,000 check, uh, I can't imagine they wouldn't make that work out in one way, shape, or form. Again, it's not going to be anything fancy but I can't imagine that they would let that check kind of walk down the street to another funeral home. But um, if you got $15,000 worth of insurance, your are A-OK. -okay. What you've actually done is uh, provided some extra money to inflation-proof the plan, or maybe there would be some medical expenses or something like that that you wouldn't want to get covered. We typically don't recommend you get this insurance and leave a whole bunch of money behind for the family. If you wanted to do that, you should have done that much earlier in life with a different type of policy. But again, most people are on a fixed or limited income. And also, uh, from, a, from a personal standpoint, I think your family would rather you spend that money on them while they're alive rather than just get a small kind of death benefit payout, uh, what's left after all the burial and everything. Once you are gone, they're going to appreciate those memories while you're alive more than a little extra money when you're gone. But let's take a look at the actual rates and coverage, what, would that, what that would be. Um, keep in mind here, though, uh, we, we specialize in first aid coverage. We recommend you get first aid coverage or benefits. We, we, we recommend you stay away from the two-year waiting periods. And uh, we'll go over a couple of those here in just a moment. But the only, To get first aid coverage, there are health questions, but we work with enough different insurance companies. It's very flexible. We can typically find a company 90, 95% of the time we're getting people first aid coverage. Kind of the reasons you wouldn't qualify is if you – had a terminal illness or dementia or you in a hospital or um, a nursing home or something like that. The other thing that happens, uh, boy, it seems like once a week, is somebody calls up and says, hey, we had a family member pass away this last week. The body's at the morgue. They didn't have insurance. We don't have money. So we need to get this insurance right away so that we can get everything paid up because, again, the body's at the funeral home. And we have to let them know that there is no product out there. There is no insurance company that will – offer insurance on somebody who's already dead. Uh, it's really sad when we have to tell them that, but learn from their mistake. You need this insurance actually before you need it. You can't wait until somebody passes away. Um, so first day coverage, absolutely go for that. The ones you should avoid are two-year waiting periods. Most people are going to qualify for first day coverage. So why wouldn't you get first day coverage instead of getting a policy that's going to make you wait two years if you die of any health or medical reason? So let's take a look here. We've got a male, uh, age 60 here, and this is Colonial Pen. Now, Colonial Pen's got their 995 pricing, right? So let's let's kind of look at what 995 was. 
And a lot of people think, well, hey, uh, you know, nine ninety five, I'm I should be able to get twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars worth of nine ninety five because, gosh darn, those those TV commercials are pretty engaging, aren't they? You know, they've got great marketers. I will say that. But when you actually get on their website and, and you take a look, here we go again, male, age 60, right up here, one unit of life insurance, guaranteed acceptance life insurance through Colonial Pen, $9.95 is going to be $1,167. That is not enough to pay for cremation these days. And keep in mind, you would have to live two years for this to even pay out, and it's going to be worth less due to inflation. And it's certainly not enough for a burial. So just be a smart shopper and understand that nine ninety five is a marketing thing to get you to call in and get your information and then upsell you. But let's take a look. Let's take a look. So if we're looking at fifteen thousand dollars, you can't you can't actually buy fifteen thousand dollars through Colonial Pen. They sell this, you know, units and you have to get like thirteen units of it here. And uh you know, that would be $129 and you would end up with $15,171. Now, the other insurance companies out there, you could just say, I want 15000 and they would sell you 15000 They don't, don't have this kind of really interesting per unit thing. But let's go see what the pricing would be on that. Um, also, two-year waiting periods, um, that'd be cl- companies like Colonial Pen, Mutual of Omaha has got the United of Omaha product that's a two-year waiting period. AIG, Gerber, those are all two-year waiting periods. If you qualify for first aid coverage, we don't recommend those plans at all, and we can help you qualify. So let's go take a look here. We've got $15,000 right here. Uh, we've got a male, age 60, right here. Let's see what that would be. And again, okay, I just hit the quote button. We're going to go back to Colonial Pen here. Remember, uh, let's just round the number up, $130 for roughly $15,000. let us see if we can save you some money. So here we go. Um, yeah, Trinity Life. We work with Trinity Life Insurance Company. They're a great company. And this level means first day coverage. And they're $61. First day coverage, $61. Remember, Colonial Pen was 130 Just rounding up. So Colonial Pen is almost, almost 200% more expensive than a first day coverage policy. And with Colonial Pen, to your waiting period. Why would you spend 200% more? Because you're going to overpay on that for the rest of your life. So let's say it's just roughly $60 difference. It's just easy math for me. $60 would be um, six times 12 is $720 extra a year. You'd be overpaying. And if you lived in another 10 years, you got up to age 70, That'd be $7,200. Yeah, $7,200. You would be overpaying. That's a lot of money. So we would rather you keep that money in your pocket. Imagine what what you could do, how much fun you could have with your own family if you spent $7,200 on them and not just giving it over to an insurance company. So we would rather you keep that money in your pocket and uh, have your family enjoy that money while you're alive rather than give that to an insurance company executive who's going to take it to have fun with his family. Let's look at a couple other um, companies here. Um, And again, you'll be able to scroll down and see all these different companies, and you'll be able to go a little bit lower here and see what companies don't offer coverage. And um, let's look at Lincoln Heritage here. Uh, They advertise a fair amount, and they're a fine company, level coverage, but look at their pricing. Uh, we're just going to round that up to $90, uh, 8905 80 so $90. So you would be overpaying at $90. We're just going to round it about around $30 a month, $360 a year, uh, $3,600 after 10 years. You know, so the thing with Lincoln Heritage is they've got a deal where if uh, when you do pass away, They'll make some phone calls, like two, three phone calls, something like that. And, you know, they say, hey, they'll kind of take the pressure off your family and save you some money at the time and everything. But remember, it's um, $3,600 more after 10 years. Are you really saving money? You know, for them making two, three phone calls, you know, $3,600, that's pretty good pay on their part. So we recommend you just keep the money in your own pocket. We've got a free funeral and estate planning guide that we provide to all our clients. Actually, we provide it free to anybody. 
And um, you can just fill that out in advance. And then your family is going to know everything you want, all your last final wishes, everything. You save money. They know exactly what to do. It's an amazing blessing when people do that for their families. So keep in mind, uh, go to pretty much any page on our website. We've got this quoter. Again, you can go funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. And we've got a quarter there with special discounts as well. And also in the comment section of this video, we're going to have links to videos for 5,000, 10,000, 15, 20, 25,000 for a 60 year old male. If you need help with this, funeralfunds.com, we're licensed in all 50 states. Our toll free number is on our website, 888-862-9456. And uh, just, just reach out to us. We'll help you. Uh, no pressure at all. If you just want information, we're happy to do that. But uh, definitely get this insurance before you need it. And until that day comes, we, uh, you take care, and we look forward to helping you out with this. All right, bye-bye.